this is Sylvia Blumke of uh, Ball Packaging Europe and um, I'd like to talk something about the, um, the deposit system that exists in Germany. Now, around 2003 the German government introduced a, a system for um, retur non-returnable um, packaging which has had um, quite a devastating effect on the, uh, the tin can uh, industry. Um, Sylvia, can you tell, tell us a little bit how it's affected you? Uh, yeah, that was a, a very busy time for me when this was introduced because we got a lot of requests from journalists about the system because it was very complicated. In our view, uh, there are different ways to collect the used beverage cans. Uh, for example, green dot systems that are very well functioning in other countries. And uh, the big advantage of beverage cans is, of course, it's very good recyclability. The beverage can is completely recyclable and it saves a lot of energy when you recycle beverage cans. So it's worthwhile to collect used beverage cans and to recycle them. But the introduction of the uh, deposit system in Germany um, was sort of a second system and a very costly system. Uh, yeah, therefore we think that is not the best solution for this uh, issue. Mm -hmm. So, but if you agree that the, it's right to recycle them, and um, this uh, was only putting into effect, into law, something that was being done anyway, so why did it cause the problem? It caused the problem because uh, we had back then in Germany in 2003, we had already a very well functioning system that was the green dot system, and we had a recycling rates of over 80 percent. Um, but the government decided to implement a second system, a deposit system, um, and that was very costly on one way. And on the other hand, we didn't have a take-back system for one-way beverage containers back then, and that's caused a lot of problems. So uh, what was done about introducing a take-back system? Has anything been done? Yeah, that was uh, due to the um, circumstances in which the deposit was introduced in Germany. Uh, there was a lot of uh, political discussions about the system and when it was introduced the discussions were still going on so there was, it was unclear for the industry how the system will proceed. But then finally it was introduced but it was um, it cost uh, 1.5 billion euros back then. 1.5 billion euros? Yeah. And how much would the whole industry, be, uh, the value of it, uh, be? Well, it, uh, the industry had to raise this 1.5 billion uh, euros to implement the take-back system that included, for example, the return vending machines that had to be introduced at the retailers. So, largely, this was a political failure, a foul up, which the industry had to pay for. Uh, if you will. We think that there are better systems and better ways uh, to recollect the used beverage cans and to recycle them. Uh, my, my first recollection of this is I went to a shop in um, in Leuven, which is uh, near the near the Polish border, and um, I, I had actually counted out the money I needed uh, for what I had to buy. So I had that the four euros sixty or whatever it was in my hand, mm -hmm. and then when the lady asked me for five euros twenty, I was somewhat confused and didn't understand why I had to pay the extra money. I also noticed uh, that the cost of the packaging I was being recharged, was being charged for was actually greater than the cost of the product in one case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. That is another, um, yeah, that's another uh, thing from the German deposit system. The deposit in Germany is 25 cents for each container and that's the highest deposit in the world. And the problem with this is, um, amount of deposit is that you need an, um, a security system which is very costly because if you don't do that then uh, you provoke fraud from neighboring countries that are bringing in their, their one-way packaging. I know I had this rather good idea yesterday that maybe I ought to go into the business of collecting uh, packaging in, uh, in places like Szczecin and Wrocław which are large populations yeah. and take them into Germany and then claim it back at the first supermarket I see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to prevent this, we had um, we invented a good system to separate the one-way deposit um, packages, German packages, from other packages. But, for example, in Poland, uh, that was a very successful example of 
how people get used to the idea of recycling. We have uh, a recon fund in Poland, a recal fund in Poland that um, teaches children the importance of the recycling of one-way packaging and um, so gradually the recycling rates in Poland increased year over year and they are now over 50 percent and that's much more than the EU asked Poland to do. Okay, thank you.